الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. The topic of today's talk is Quran, the impact on humanity. What the Quran has mentioned, and through the verses of the Quran, what the Muslims has implemented in our daily life. It is a very long series that we are doing, and a very important series that we are doing on a platform. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 208, Allah says, Ya amanu, udhu fi silmi kafa, wa la tattabi khutwa tu shaytan. That, O you who believe, enter Islam, hold heartedly, and be not follow the footsteps of shaytan. This verse of the Quran has given us an important message that when you want to do anything when we want to perform salah when we want to do ibadah we have to give out 100 percent of whatever ability we can it is very important we have to follow every aspect of islam from our heart sincerity and devotion this is the verse that has given every muslim that message that we should remember every day allah says in the quran in the surah to nur chapter 24 verse number 35 allah says allahu nur as samawati wal arab that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the light of the heaven and the earth the parable, the example of his light, is like a niche. Within it is a lamp. The lamp, as if it were a brilliant star, lit from olive tree. Neither a blessed olive tree, neither of the east nor of the west, whose oil will almost glow even if untouched by fire light upon light allah subhanahu wa ta'ala present example for the people and allah is knowing full of knowledge this verse of the quran is very important for us to understand and this is the verse that in the early eighth centuries jabir ibn hayyan said that this verse of the quran is a revolution verse that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us an important message more than we can imagine and alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he mentioned about this is the verse that explain Allah into detail other verses when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned ar-Rahman the most merciful Allah did not go into detail to explain what he meant by the most merciful but when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah is the light Allah Allah nura Allah is the light he go on and see and explain what he meant by the light so when you read the Quran and you come across this verse of the Quran you are speaking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explaining something which is very unique and very profound in that sense. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Araf, chapter 7, verse number 62, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran is a letter that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to the whole of mankind, depending your academic background, depending your profession, depending your geographic location. If you read the Quran, there are certain verses of the Quran that you take it serious and your explanation of the verse will be a different and the Quran will be a communication between you and then 
the Quran. It is like a letter that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent. So anyone, if you want to send a letter to any individual, you figure out the personality of the person and you send that person a letter according to whether male or female, a child or an adult. Then that individual will receive a letter and you will address that personality different. So the Quran was meant for the whole of mankind. So wherever you, you stay in this world, whatever profession you pick in this world, if you read the Quran, it's a communication between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It speaks to, speak to you direct. And there are certain verses of the Quran that you personally will take it serious that no one else will take that verse serious than you. And your understanding, it will motivate you spiritually as well as physically. In the early 11th centuries, there was a sheikh. His name is Sheikh Abu Rehan Al-Biruni. He was from Iran. He said that this verse of the Quran is a miracle verse. Surah Al-Nur, chapter 24. Verse number 35 is a miracle verse. The reason why he is saying that is that this is the verse that Jabir ibn Hayyan used eight centuries back. He said this 11th century, eight centuries back. Jabir ibn Hayyan used this verse to invent alambic, and through alambic, we can do the selection of in the crude oil that we have so petrol diesel naphtha kerosene all this was a discovery by jaber ibn hayyan and later muhammad zakari arazi in the early 9th centuries also used the same verse of the quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained into detail about himself what the light that he meant. Muhammad Zakari Arazi in the early 9th centuries also used the same verse to invent naphtha lamp, kerosene lamp, the lamp that we use today because of electricity. Even today, the light bulb that we use is exactly explanation of Surah to Nur chapter 24 verse number 35 which is amazing when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned a verse in 1400 years ago where they use a camp fire a camp light that they use in the society and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explaining about himself and we find that later generation in the first centuries one century after the prophet peace be upon him passed away Jabir ibn Hayyan used this verse to change the scenario in the society. To use it, to use alambic method to destyle this kerosene and naphtha. Alhamdulillah. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that great ni'mah. And Muhammad Zakari Arazi also used the same verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about whose oil will almost glow even if untouched by fire to invent this lamp that we use alhamdulillah so sheikh abu rehan al biruni in the la 11th century from iran he was very wondering about this verse he was very shocked about this verse of the quran and he want to understand it word by word letter by letter so anytime he approached the verse to read the Quran, he will on the light because he will be in the close room. So he will on the light. So every day he come, he on the light, he study about the verse and he want to explain, he want to understand it. He will finish and he will off the light. Through that, he also give an a strange interpretation and he
he said that he also when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about light he want to study more about light and he give us the speed of light so the speed of light that we go to school to study if you go to school university and colleges and we want to study about science and they teach us about the speed of a light the speed of a light it was an interpretation of the Quran by Sheikh Abu Rehan al biruni in the early 11th centuries in Iran Alhamdulillah we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this ni'ma for this blessing in our society where the Quran give a verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about the verse and we have a spiritual benefit as well as a physical benefit Alhamdulillah Quran the impact on humanity what the Quran has mentioned and through the verses of the Quran what the Muslims has implemented in our daily life it is a very long series that we are doing and a very important series that we are doing on the platform Islamic U Foundation on YouTube subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you help us at the same time you share the message to others and you also like it if you like it is good it also help a lot so you like you share you subscribe to the youtube channel inshallah and also if you go to instagram foundation islamic youth the spellings all together and you can also call us whatsapp us our number is plus three nine three five one one nine one six six seven five subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk my name is abdul malik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh